Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we uh, headed over to Route 224 because Professor Oak wanted to meet us there. He gave us that letter that told us to go meet him there. Uh, on our way there though, we found another portal at the bottom of the waterfall in front of the Pokemon League. Don't know what Pokemon's in there, but it's another portal, so that's seven now, okay? Uh, we also ran into Marley on the way to the rock at the end of Route 224, uh, cause she was like, ooh, this is where that mysterious Pokemon that I wanted to thank is, is at. Uh, we went to the rock uh, with Professor Oak waiting for us there and uh, gave our gratitude to our mom, uh, to the rock, which the mysterious Pokemon heard and decided to show up, uh, sprouting flowers everywhere and creating a path to the flower paradise. Another new addition to the map. We followed it down the sea break path, an incredibly long route, uh, to the Flower Paradise where we fought it, Shaman. And because its catch rate was super duper uh, considerate, we were able to capture it in one Dusk Ball. Yay. But on this episode, our luck runs out <laughs> as we go back to the Pokemon that only have three catch rate. Yay. Starting with the legendary birds, because Professor Oak is, well, he's waiting for us down in here in Eterna City, but he's not giving us any new information until we get all the birds. So we got to get all the birds. And hopefully Articuno is at the top of Mount Cornet. That's why we're starting here. Maybe not the tip tip top, but I mean, it's not the tip tip top. That's what, that's what the spear pillar is. But hopefully we should be able to capture it and it shouldn't be bad for us. I don't know. We've kind of gotten we've gotten soft <laughs> over the last couple episodes with the the catch rate being 30 and 45. Now we got to deal with 3 again. No more no more guaranteed captures. Maximum of 7.1 until we uh, get to 26 turns. Then our maximum is 9. <laughs> Ugh. I hate that our I hate that our chance of catching it is down to 10% is less than 10%. But, you know, once again, we've managed to hit that 10% multiple times when it comes to missing moves, so I don't know why it takes so long when it comes to catching Pokemon. Sucks when it goes against you, huh? Then you hit it. Alright, I gotta get my notepad out, because we're gonna have to keep track of these turns, aren't we? Our Zap. Okay. Ooh, I do have Trace and Brianna in the party. I don't know, I'm just gonna bring them along because there are two like catchers, and at the moment, I wanna say neither of them are like very good for this fight. Trace is better just because Brianna is grass fighting and Articuno's ice flying is super bad for that. So, you know. The only problem is Trace's accuracy of getting Pokemon put to sleep is not the best compared to Brianna. Uh, so maybe we maybe we start with Brianna because Brianna's is Brianna faster. Brianna no Trace is faster, but Brianna can do more damage, especially with False Swipe. So you know, if Brianna faints, Trace goes out. Then we start spamming X accuracies and. Put it to sleep and maybe we re revive Brianna. I don't know. We'll see. It's a rift across time and space. You can feel a harsh blizzard passing through from the other side. Do you want to link the other side with the red chain? Well, if it's a blizzard, it has to be an ice type, right? Cast you through the red chain into the rift. Ooh, hail's bad. Okay, well, it is Articuno, level 60. Let's put that in the catch rate calculator. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, back to normal. We gotta get it, we gotta get its health lower down to one, and we gotta, we gotta put it to sleep. Thankfully, I don't think, 
I don't think the hail will hurt it because it's ice type. Hail's gonna hurt me, so that's gonna suck. Alright, turn one with Spore. Alright, how much damage will this do? Okay, down down to half. I just gotta hit it one more time. Gotta hit it one more time and we'll be in the good location. How did false swipe miss? How did false swipe miss? Hello? Please survive, Brianna. Ew. I mean, I guess Hurricane is times four. Uh. All right, Trace. Okay. Well, let no. Let's just uh, let's just start with the X accuracy, so I don't forget. I didn't top up my X accuracy. So well. E Blizzard's gonna be super. Uh, wait, it won't be super effective. But Blizzard's gonna be 100% accurate because of the hailstorm. Does the hailstorm affect accuracy? Uh I don't think so. It doesn't say One more. One more just to guarantee it. I don't want to... I mean, if... If False Swipe can miss, then I guess the accuracy is being lowered by something. Ugh. Okay, how much does Hurricane do to us? It's super effective. Okay, it doesn't do that much. Alright. It still missed? <laughs> okay, hold on. Did it say it was extorting pressure? It might be its ability. Hold on, let's take a look. What abilities does Articuno have? Articuno, pressure, snow cloak. Oh. Oh, okay. So, snow cloak reduces accuracy when it's during a hailstorm. Well, technically it boosts evasion in a hailstorm, so it just makes Articuno harder to hit. So maybe one more X accuracy. If I wouldn't have if I would have known that and if Brianna wouldn't have missed that false swipe, it'd be at it'd be at one HP at this point. Super unfortunate. Alright, well. There. Ooh, it woke up. Ooh, it missed. Ooh, it missed. I mean, I guess Hurricane's, what, 70%? So, thank God for that. Go back to bed. I'm go- Ooh. I'm going to heal. Oh, I have not actually kept track of turns. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I only counted the first two turns, and I feel bad. We did... We did Spore, False Swipe, then it missed False Swipe, and it died. I did 3x Accuracies, 
and my own false swipe. And I think I missed a hypnosis in there. Because it wasn't... The accuracy was changed. Uh, so... And then that gets me up to this is turn 9 then. That, not Brianna. We'll just assume turn 9. It's not at 1 HP. It's close, but it's 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 good enough. So I can start chucking balls at it now. Thankfully, accuracy and evasion doesn't matter when it comes to Pokeballs. If it did, ooh, ooh, I don't need any more. I don't need any more negative things affecting me with this right now. Well, we gotta get lucky eventually, right? I didn't use up all my luck during the Darkrai fight, did I? To get it in two balls? Despite that also being a catch rate three? At least shook both times. Please be, please be an easy one. Please be an easy one. I'm crossing my fingers, praying. <laughs> it is not shaken. Oh, woke up. You have a healing move. Oh, that hurts so much. Why do I keep on giving these legendary healing moves? You know how hard it is for me to actually catch them if I have to continuously hurt them and then they keep on waking up? Okay, hold on. How much how much PB does Roost have? It's got 10. <laughs> okay. Well. That sucks. Ooh, nice crit hit. Okay, good. That brought it down to 1 HP. Whew. Oh! That was close. Darn it. I hope that three shaker isn't going to be a thing again. I'm going to do one more. It's probably going to wake up next turn. Darn it. I woke up now. It healed? Okay. That's two. I need to heal. I don't know if I if my hypnosis is 100% accurate. I'm scared of it missing. Down in red. All right, let's heal before I get hit with a hurricane. I had to wake up and hit me with hurricane. It does have sheer cold, so I'm a little afraid of that. But also, I don't know if sheer cold can actually hit me. 
Because I don't know if... I don't think one-hit KO moves work on Pokemon that are higher level than you. Of course you shake three times again. Please stop using Roost. Hit me with an attack. Why'd they give you so much more health? Have to do two, two false swipes probably here unless I get a crit. Mm, it woke up, sweet. Eww. That sheer cold is frightening. Let me just verify the accuracy of sheer cold. Uh. Yeah, if the user is a lower level than the target, the move always fails, so Sheer Cold can't hit me. Whew. Oh, there's the hypnosis missing when I don't want it to. All right, okay. I need one more X accuracy. I'm glad it roosted again. Uh, this hurts me in my soul. This, <laughs> if it did have roost, this fight wouldn't be bad. It's just that it hit all the legendary, all the legendary Lake Trio members. All had healing abilities. Thankfully, the last two didn't do it, but it was just mesperant annoying me the most. Cresselia had it. It's asleep. Okay, hold on. Alright, we're gonna heal. I might do one more X accuracy just to guarantee, guarantee. Because four X accuracies boost my accuracy to. What is it? did it did hit let me do x attack so i can boost my my false swipe by the time i actually hit it it'll probably be in timer ball range Nice crit hit. 
Okay, all right. Let's go for it. All right. I don't know what turn it is, but it's around 226, so timer balls are going to be effective now. Eee! I don't think I used that, that extra accuracy, so I hope... I hope this doesn't miss. The fact that that was my 11th hypnosis probably says a lot. <laughs> it means I've missed a lot, and it also wakes up very early. Just in case. Hey, this adds one to the timer ball, so... It'll make it more accurate. Hey, it look, it woke up. Cool. That's like its fifth roost. I hope I don't have to worry about, ooh, will I have to worry about weather on any of the other ones? All right, time roll range is probably in effect. I'm just gonna switch this. Timer ball. I'll just say it's turn 31. 9.265. Here we go. You know that, that uh, snow veil or snow cloak makes my attacks 80% accurate. That 20% chance of me missing, I did it a lot. I just need to hit a 10% chance of catching it. Come on, game. <laughs> Please. All right, don't shake, whatever. Okay, cool. It's kind of making up its mind. <laughs> it's being a difficult one today. Oh, I thank God you didn't use Roost. Alright, the extra turn that happens from hail continuing to fall is starting to annoy me. Okay, I'm going to heal this next turn. I don't really have a counter for the hail. I could set, I could switch to a sandstorm, but then Articuno would be the one taking damage, not me, and I don't want that to happen. That doesn't affect me.
I really don't want Trace to faint. I put four X accuracies in the next attack into you. I don't like you waking up! At least stay asleep like a turn longer! I get like four turns to try and capture it before I have to heal because of the hail takes out enough of my health. <laughs> okay, you tried to hit me with something. I I didn't look because my hands my my head was in my hands. <laughs> I just decided, yeah, I'll just I'll just wake up on the second turn both times. Yeah, uh-huh. <sighs> Why a third time, game? Huh? Huh? Why do you have to do this a third time? I I hate saying it every time. But I it it I you know I'm not going to say it. I'm just not going to say it. I know you know if you've seen like the past couple episodes cuz I keep on mentioning it whenever it happens. Not worth it. This is gonna put me in healing range. <sighs> yeah, that's healing range. Trace is not allowed to go into double digit HP. I don't remember how much Hurricane does. It does enough. Well, we'll find out. Okay, cool. I like how, just based off of the hypnosises I've used, and probably the timer balls I've thrown, we're, we're definitely a timer ball range. I stopped keeping count at 21, and that was when he started doing like all the extra X accuracies and X attacks, so. Yeah, we've used eight timer balls, and we've used eight dusk balls, so that's 16. 1632. Yeah, so we're at minimum. With just those, we're already at minimum. Best catch rate odds. Oh, I was so afraid you were going to do it a fourth time. A legendary bird Pokemon. It can create blizzards by freezing moisture in the air. <sighs> the rift across time and space disappeared. <sighs> See, I'm glad I brought them both. I think we go back to Floroma Town now. Whew, all right. 
That's one of the birds caught. There's a Pikachu in front of the counter. <laughs> so now I gotta worry about the other birds potentially having roost. So that that's good to look forward to. Uh, 44, I think it was here. Yeah, because this is... 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 150. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Snorlax right here. I can move you guys to where you need to go. You don't need to stay here anymore. Seven, eight, nine. You go there. Three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven. Yeah, because it's Eridos and the Letty of Wine and then the Super Dark Line. Okay. <laughs> Alright, don't know how many turns it was. Was an annoying fight. I mean anything that doesn't end immediately is an annoying fight in my in my mind. <laughs> if I have to toss more than ten Pokeballs at it, it's annoying. I'm too used to the catch rate that, that's in today's games. But that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of Pokemon... I better start saving. On the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, we've got one of the legendary birds. Let's start working on the next one, which is thankfully located right behind the... Uh, Valley Windwork, so it's it's just a stone's throw away from where we're currently at. Ooh, I can get rid of the mark that's... Oh, hold on. By getting rid of the mark, I mean I'm just going to move the mark over to the Pokemon League. Ooh, yeah, I'll do... I mean, I can do that right now. Boop. So... Until next time. Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you enjoy.